on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. And today, we're taking a look at WWE Mattel Elite Series 99, which is now in stock and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. As always, use promo code 4LIFE. It will save you 10% off your order. So today, we're taking a look at the first half of the wave. We're looking at Happy Corbin, Cowboy Brock Lesnar, and Queen Zelina. Uh, these figures look absolutely great. You know, great way to end the year. I don't know if Elite 100 is going to come in stock. Uh, within the next few weeks, it'd be a nice surprise if it could, but it looks like this is the last series we're going to get of 2022 from ringside, and it is a banger of a set. Absolutely love how happy Corbin looks. He's got the freaking uh, two kind of looks you can go with the, the broke-ass Corbin, the busted-ass uh, face with the crazy hair and the stained shirt, or you got happy Corbin when he's better on his look. He's got the nice kind of like high roller Vegas shirt with a nice fedora. Brock Lesnar, we're getting him for the first time in the overalls with the cowboy hat. Don't forget, we do have the three-pack that is coming in stock with Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns. I actually got charged from that from Amazon today. So I wonder if we're going to actually get that before the end of the year. It's saying pending delivery for December uh, 23rd, so next week. But I'm not holding my breath. You just never know with Amazon pre-orders, but would be pretty awesome. So this year, we did get the Elite 96 Brock uh, with the updated ponytail. We got the Ultimate Edition Brock, which was absolutely amazing, which we'll um, definitely compare this figure with in the video. And if we get the three-pack with Elite 99 to end out the year, that would be pretty awesome uh, because he does have the overalls, the cowboy hat, the WWE Championship belt with interchangeable hands as well. And Queen Zelina, obviously a gimmick that kind of ran its course and she's no longer uh, really running with this look, but uh, it is nice to get her in figure form. Her, I guess this is her second Elite uh, we had that Target one, that really shelf-worn for the longest. But this figure does look great. Great likeness to her. You get the scepter and the crown and the nice bright white and red attire. But flipping the figures over to the side, look at the boxes. Obviously, you get the images of each wrestler on the front. On the side, you get the nameplates. Flip it all the way around. You get the awesome images of all three wrestlers. Elite Series 99 on the bottom. Two at the back. You do have the read-up. If I can squeeze them in, the read-up. The other figures in the wave. We're going to come back and get each figure out of their packaging and go one by one. So starting us off, we are taking a look at Queen Zelina out of her packaging. As far as the interchangeable hands go, you do get a set of mic holding hands, as well as this other gesture hand that came similar to uh, the Elite Mandy Rose. You can see she's kind of got a little posed hand going, uh, as well as a waving hand. So I do like that kind of open hand. She also does come with this removable crown, which looks great. I do like the detailing to it. It's got some nice silver and purple paint applications. Uh, nice kind of silver paint on the top of the, the pointer part of the crown as well. Really pliable, really nice, will fit great on her head. And she also does come with a removable scepter. We'll get this out of her hand real quick. She also has some nice silver paint, kind of like a translucent color on the top. Really do like the color on the handle. It is uh, a lot bigger in size. Uh, compared to the figure but uh, i don't know the scale of it of how uh, it actually looked in real life but i do like the design of it looks really nice some great detailing to it if you want to bring the crown back i'll throw it on her head kind of bring her up in real close if you guys want to see how the crown fits looks to uh, really fit the the figure pretty nicely unfortunately this gimmick is long gone uh, i feel like this is just part of the figure game you know mattel really tries to crank out uh the current looks as quick as possible but She's on uh, to a new gimmick now. And again, if you want to look at the head scan with the crown off, it's got the, the red kind of highlights in there with the black. I do like the nice curls to the front of the hair. And the likeness is spot on, man. It looks just like Zelina. Do like the smile. Can look at the back, kind of see how the hair splits. She also does have some nice tattoo detail here. You can see on her shoulder, on her form as well. She's got the double jointed arms. They do look nice. I love the gear with the red and the white. It just looks very clean. You can see the nice sculpted designs here on the front. She's got the fishnet stockings here. More designs on her trunks with the white. Look at the boots, man. Even, even the boots have some nice silver paint applications on there. Looks like some hearts on the front. And you can see the splatters of silver on the side here. Some nice sculpting here on the shin guard. She does have the basic articulation. I've seen this on a couple of female figures. I don't know if it's just a parts issue or maybe they're not compatible or what, but she does have the kind of basic up and down, no rotation at all. She does have rotation at the calf, so that is a little something extra for you. Uh, it does have the knee pads on there as well. Again, really do like how this figure came out. This is her second Elite. I never actually grabbed 
the prior one. That shelf warmed at Target for what seemed like forever. I definitely think like this figure is an upgrade and just has a better likeness to her. For your figure comparisons, on the left, we have an Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss. And on the right, we have the most recent Elite Ronda Rousey. And you can see Zelina does scale pretty well with the other figures. And we also have Zelina with her husband in real life, Alistair Black. Next up, we have the man of the ever-changing gimmicks. I mean, he went from, what, the Lone Wolf to the Constable Corbin to Happy Corbin, Broke-Ass Corbin. And now he's back to Baron Corbin, just... They've changed this guy's gimmick so often, I feel like they just can't find the right mold for him. But um, this figure does look pretty cool. It's pretty toyetic, something uh, a little different. Um, even though, again, another figure that kind of, our character that changed uh, his gimmick now uh, in current day. But as far as accessories go, so you do get a set of Mike holding hands with Happy Corbin. You do get another interchangeable head to make him broke-ass Corbin. Down on his luck, shit on his luck. You can see he's got the long hair. Uh, the the grays in, in his beard. Uh, he also does come with this white shirt that has the stain on it on the front here. Interesting note, Mattel actually packed this in a little baggie behind the plastic tray in the packaging. So uh, I wonder if that's just an effort to get ahead of the issues with staining. Again, I haven't seen too many white fabric shirts staining figures, but I do like that. They packed it on the side, so uh, a little something to note when you get your figure out of the packaging. He also does come with this removable fedora. I do like how this looks. You see a nice sculpting on the side. Kind of looks like it's like um, nice, a nice fabric to it. I don't know if I get it to focus. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But it's got some nice like swirls on there. Looks like some uh, nice knitting on there. Just really nice design on the fedora itself. So here you have the smiling scan. Happy Corbin. You know, he's a high roller. Really living life. If you want to see a comparison on both head scans. You can see the bro the broke-ass head versus the happy head. I do like the likeness to it. Again, I'm, I'm not the biggest Corbin fan, I'll be honest. I just feel like, I think out of all his different gimmicks, I like the Lone Wolf the best, even though he had that thinning hair. Just can't seem to find his spot in WWE, but hell, the guy's making money, so what what the hell do I know? Uh, but again, this shirt looks very toyetic. I do like the designs, too, with the orange and the blacks. Kind of got some chains on, I don't know if that's flowers on there, but he does have some nice tattoo detailing on his form. Uh, you can see that on the side. So I don't know if this is the first time we're seeing the double jointed arms on like kind of this sleeveless uh, or, you know, kind of short sleeve uh, shirt. I know Mankind uh, is another figure that kind of shares a similar mold, but he did not have the double jointed arms. So this may be the first time we're seeing it. It does look great. I do like the detailing to it. And also on the side of the head, you can see he's got a nice tattoo behind the ear. Look at the shirt design on the back. This is just a fun figure, even if you're not a fan of Corbin. And look, he seems to have the bigger or longer pant legs. I, I hope, like, for figures like uh, Rick Rude, who's just way too short, they can figure out a way to use these type of legs for build figures just to give them a little more height. And maybe it's a, that's something you could uh, buy an extra swap out if you want to, like, uh, plus up the height on some of your build figures that are just too damn short. But he does have the, the plain dress pants, you can see. The old school articulation, I don't like that. Uh, Mattel did state with the newest uh, upcoming uh, Build-A-Figure, Mr. Perfect, he will have ball-jointed hips, so these are going away. Hopefully we have seen the last because it's just old technology, man. It doesn't even look nice. It's really uh, unappealing to the eye. Uh, but there is a cut at the thigh for extra added articulation. None on the calf. He does have the double-jointed uh, knees. Uh, he does have the shoes on. You guys can see that. Got the dress shoes. Does have ankle rotation here on the side, on the bottom. Uh, but all in all, nice figure. I do want to come back and swap him out into his broke ass gimmick. So swapping the shirt and the head on the figure. This is pretty freaking awesome, man. Uh, you got broke ass Corbin. Shit on his luck. Um, just looks really depressed and pissed off. Uh, I do like the look of that. Uh, just nice. You kind of get a two in one with this figure. That is something fun when it makes sense. And I feel like this was a good way. Uh, to include an interchangeable head, something very different, and, and the shirt. If you guys are wondering, if you want to see what the hat looks like on this figure, uh, that'll give you uh, kind of a, a look with the hat on. But again, moving it in real close, you can see the stain on the shirt. Uh, it does Velcro on the front, so very simple. Nice, uh, soft, but thick actual material, so it kind of covers up uh, the orange underneath. It, it doesn't really show through, and I do like that added extra feature. It is nice and thick. It's got um kind of a way to cover up the the bright orange shirt so you really do get the two-in-one uh, uh, opportunity here 
for all your Baron Corbin comparison, so again, I don't really have any other figures of him in my collection. I'm just not the biggest fan, to be completely honest. Uh, but, you know, he is one of the taller WWE superstars of the current day, so I want to bring some of the bigger stars in. Uh, on the left, we have an elite Drew McIntyre, and we have the most recent elite Sheamus, and you can see how the new Baron Corbin stacks up versus these larger superstars. And here we have one I'm sure a lot of us were excited for. The first official Cowboy Brock Lesnar in the overalls with the cowboy hat. I will be the first to admit, when I saw Brock Lesnar come out with this goddamn gimmick, I was like, what the fuck is going on? What happened to Brock Lesnar? But I absolutely loved it. It was just so refreshing and different from the Suplex City, the guy who never spoke. I love it. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying I love it, but, you know, Brock really is entertaining um, and it's crazy that we're finally getting a figure of him in this gimmick, but as far as accessories go, you do get a set of fisted hands. Additionally, you get the two mic holding hands that come on the figure. You get the WWF or WWE, excuse me, championship belt, uh, with the Brock Lesnar side plates on there. Uh, looks really great, the nice vac finish on it. Uh, again, something we've seen before with his Ultimate Edition figure. Now, no, don't forget, we are getting another Brock Lesnar in a similar attire. He comes with a black uh, shirt with a flannel. No cowboy hit. That is an Amazon three-pack exclusive. Uh, again, I got charged for that today. So hopefully we may have them next week. We can do a review and compare it. Um, unfortunately, that does not have the cowboy hat. So I feel like I'm just going to grab another Brock just to get a, a freaking cowboy hat for that figure. But we'll save that for uh, when that figure comes in. Looking at the Elite 99 Brock in hand, it looks great. New sculpt, new design. You can see the sculpted overalls. Uh, so there is a chase figure. There are actually two chase figures in this wave. One is the Boogeyman, and the other is Brock Lesnar. So this is the standard version. There's another one with him in more of a blue attire with the blue overalls and a kind of a blue pattern flannel, flannel shirt. Uh, but he looks great. Again, the cowboy hat is removable. This is the same head scan that we uh, did see on the Old Mission and the Elite 96. Also is coming with the Amazon 3-pack, but cowboy hat looks nice. I think this is similar we got with uh, the Jim Ross Builder figure or any other cowboy hats that we've seen in the Mentel line. So uh, I actually do need a few extra of these just for other figures. Like I, I did a custom elite uh, Shawn Michaels with the bald head look. I would like another cowboy hat just for that figure. Uh, just a side note. But you can see the tattoo detail on his shoulders. We've seen this on Brock before. Uh, same arms, I want to say, on the Elite 96. They look a little small for Brock. I kind of like would have seen a little bigger ar uh, arm mold on him. And I feel like we've seen a lot of these arms on figures, and they go with a running change. I've seen it with Lex Luger, the Legends figure. Uh, they originally had the smaller, more cut arms, and they went to the gigantic kind of uh, Hulk Hogan balloon arms. Uh, same with the uh, top picks. Uh, John Cena, the most recent one with him in the black, uh, had the smaller arms, and they did a running change with the bigger one. So it would be interesting to see if they do one with Brock. Uh, just spitballing off the top of my head, but... This does look great. Uh, the pants, I think, are just your standard jean mold that we've seen with, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So I'm curious to see how he's with scale. But you can see the nice sculpting for the overalls with the little silver buckles here. Same on the front, the straps that go over the actual uh, shirt itself. Take a look at the back. Looks really nice. I do like the color too. Very simple, but I, I feel like a figure that a lot of people are excited for. He does still have that kind of girth that Brock Lesnar has with the upper torso. Um, and the awesome smiling skin to, that really fits his gimmick. For your Brock Lesnar comparison, so on the left, we have the Elite 96 of him in the ring gear. Again, you can see it is the same head scan. And on the right, we have the newest Ultimate Edition Series 15. I, I will say right off the bat, the Ultimate Edition does look a tad taller. Not by much, but you can see it. He is taller. Uh, but I want to say this Elite 99 is the same height as the Elite 96 Brock. So it's just a matter of the Ultimate Edition being a little bigger. Um... If I had to go with, which is probably more accurate in scale, I probably would say the ultimate. He just, Brock is a massive beast. So I feel like that really comes across in the ultimate mission figure. That is probably my still my favorite Brock uh, to date. But I'm absolutely loving this new Cowboy Brock. And in case you're wondering, yes, if you do have the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar, the heads are interchangeable. So here is the Elite 99 Brock with the straight face scan. As well as the crazy screaming scan. Before we wrap this video up with some final thoughts, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. For all you guys new in the channel, I appreciate you guys checking this video review. I hope you guys will subscribe and tune in for more reviews coming down the road. Don't forget we have the second half review of Elite 99 coming up next, so make sure to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned for that. As far as these three figures go, I absolutely love them. Listen, 
I'm not the biggest Zelina Vega fan. I think this figure looks really good. I love the head scan, the tattoo detailing, the accessories, and her gear really does pop. Uh, Baron Corbin, Happy Corbin, this is a fun figure. I mean, you get a two-in-one. Uh, some people may be tempted to buy two just to display him as broke-ass Corbin or Happy Corbin. I love the gear. I love the interchangeability of having pretty much two separate characters. So this is a fun figure. I highly recommend uh, him as well. And Brock, without a doubt, is probably my favorite out of the three. Uh, again, I am a huge fan of the Cowboy Brock gimmick. I love the overalls. Very simplistic. Uh, but, you know, it's just really fun to have in figure form. Something very different uh, for Brock Lesnar. And again, if you have the inner, the other heads from the old mission, you can swap them out. Just one more uh, thing I wanted to point out with Brock. So he does share the same arms as the Elite 96. Uh, the more cut arms. I forgot to mention... With the Ultimate Edition, if you guys can see, he does have these bigger balloon arms. So bringing them both in real quick. Uh, the Elite 99 Brock is going to have the arms on this figure versus uh, the bigger arms on the Ultimate Edition. I just wanted to point that out for you guys in case you're wondering. But highly recommend these three figures. They are now in stock at ringsidecollectibles.com. Don't forget to use discount code for life. It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more great figure content. Drop a ton of news and new reveals uh, on those platforms. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.